A nice microphone, Jerry. <laughs> Thank you. I used to play basketball, and I found that when I played basketball, that the time that I performed the best was when I wasn't paying attention to the score or the time. And I see that's true for a lot of players. Even if you have a big lead, you can get too comfortable. And if you're behind, that can tighten you up and get a little nervous. So stay focused in the moment on what? Personal vitality, personal focus. Just the feeling. When the we called it the zone and it's what you call the vortex. But whenever you were in the zone, you didn't think about, you didn't even know what day it was, let alone what quarter it was or what period it was or who was winning or who was losing. You just got into the feeling of the game and then you would perform better than you ever had. Because broader perspective is pouring through you. And just flowing broader, through you. Broader perspective who knows your physical proximity with everyone else on the floor. Right. Good. So fast forward 30 years now and I run a business with my brother and we get daily reports and weekly reports and monthly reports and annual reports and we're all focused on the numbers and, and all what they mean. And I find sometimes that I find myself getting overly concerned or caught up in those. Yeah. And yet it seems would be seem to be irresponsible not to, to focus on those and try to run a business. And, and I'm, so I'm not sure exactly. Well, it might seem irresponsible, but it certainly isn't. In other words, you've given us the best juxtaposition of two analogies that we've ever heard. That, that is a brilliant association that you've made there. You prove to yourself again and again through the sport that you played, how you offered your best performance. You know what being tuned in, tapped in, turned on feels like, and you know the benefit that it gives you. And so the business application is exactly the same. Exactly the same. Anything that you review, like the time clock or the score or some report that is disturbing, any, anything that you review that causes you to activate a vibration that opposes what you're reaching for is detrimental to your experience. It's not irresponsible to avoid doing that. Wow. And, and that was sort of the, my sense and yet what you hear from consultants and, and other people kind of all guide you in a different direction. And so you start well, to question Well, any time that you are interacting with anyone else, you have to understand that their, their intentions get factored into the equation. In other words, we would say to, in, in a, in a exactly the same vein of thought, but on what would seem like a different subject, although it isn't, there would be people who would say, I am taught by my medical consultants that I should go for regular examinations looking for things that are wrong. And, and we say, as you're looking for things that are opposite of who you are, you establish resistance that doesn't allow the cells of your body to perform in the way that they would otherwise. In other words, you're hindering yourself in the same way as in your financial or your sports analogies. And yet those consultants would tell you that you are foolish out of your mind not to go. And we just got to ask you, is there anything in it for them for you to go? <laughs> Can I think about that? <laughs> so, so much, so much that this is what we've been talking about here today as we're talking about anytime you are looking for guidance from anyone, you are asking for and a, a filtering in of intentionality that is different from the intentionality between you and who, who you are and what you've already created. This is the thing that we so want to say in a way that you can hear it first time and remember it forevermore. And that is everything you want about your body, about your money, about your relationships, everything that you're reaching for already is here in this vibrational arena and if you're listening to any other outlet any other voice than this relational voice you're on the wrong path absolutely and I think that we uh, such a great point I think that um, 
we sometimes lose, we have the experts, the consultants, the doctors or whatever, that we, we ignore our own internal voice and we listen to the so-called experts and then the more that that happens, the more we lose touch with our own and, self. And further, isn't it really annoying when you get to know them and you get to really scrutinize their relationship with you to realize that they weren't paying that much attention to you or what you really want. In other words, they're for the most part meeting their goals through you. And we don't have an issue with that because everyone is selfishly oriented and it must be that way as long as you understand it and aren't using something outside of you for guidance when you've got this supreme guidance that comes forth from within that's not just guessing on who you are and not just guessing on how to get you there but knows unequivocally who you are and what you want and knows the precise path you see. Excellent. Looking for love and guidance in all the wrong places. <laughs> indeed. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. You had your shoes off, I can have mine off. Whatever you want. Just don't hit his car. 